Welcome back, physics fans. This is chapter one question from lesson three on relative velocity, and this is question number six from the worksheet. A boy runs out of the door, starts down the road for school at 10 kilometers an hour. Six minutes later, his mom discovers that he has forgotten his lunch, and then she runs after him at 14 kilometers an hour. A, how far does he get in six minutes? B, how long does it take for mom to catch him? in minutes and see how far from home is he when she catches him and there's a bonus part to it so let's just uh, worry about this the boy here it is the boy is starting to run out so let's just uh, grab the boy here and he starts taking on off and after six minutes how far has he gotten so this is the this is the head start section okay this is the head start because it's only one person running And his velocity is 10 kilometers per hour. And then the time he runs is 6 minutes. Well, 6 minutes is also, we want, we could change it to seconds, which is 3,600 seconds, 3,360 seconds. But this is in kilometers per hour. Maybe we can put this to hours. So this actually is going to be divided by 60 is 0.1 hours. It's one tenth of an hour is six minutes. Nice. So the distance that he gets going on the head start is velocity times time because we have these two with the only other one, D, solve for it, and we get a velocity of 10 times the time of 0 0.1 the distance is one kilometer so that's the head start that's the head start now mum starts to run so let's set that up so mum I've just copied her down below here is now taking on off at a speed of 14 kilometers per hour and Sun is still moving at 10. And there is a separation distance, a starting separation distance of 1 kilometer. So this is a relative velocity question because two people are moving. Be well, and they do happen to be relatives. Is going to be 14 and 10. Do we add them or subtract? This is the big one. We actually subtract because they're going in the same direction. So this is going to be 4 kilometers per hour. The distance relative that she has to make up is going to be 1 kilometer. So the time, why do we solve for time? Well, that's what's left here. D over V distance is 1 and the speed is 4, uh, it looks like 1 quarter, or 0 0.25 hours, or a minutes, that's 15 minutes. A quarter of an hour, 15 minutes. And now to go back to the question, we know how many minutes, how far does he get is 1 kilometer, how far from home is he when she catches him? I like this. So when they do catch up, not mustard, but when they catch up, she is going to be, whoops, I wonder if that'll work. Copy, come down here and paste, boom. He's gone over here, and she's caught. They both started here, and they both met there. The boy, velocity of the boy, was 10 kilometers an hour. 
and the velocity of mum was 14 kilometers an hour. The time for the mum was a quarter of an hour, 0 0.25 hours. The time for the boy, well, he ran 0.1 hours and then ran another 15 minutes while they caught up another 20.25 so plus 0 0.25 so he ran a total of 0 0.35 hours so the distance the boy went is going to be velocity times time 10 times 0.23 this looks like 3.5 kilometers okay because I just did it quickly in my head 10 and the time is 3.5 I mean 0.35 oops let's undo that so it's right down there 0 0.35 so the distance the boy has run is three and a half kilometers on the way to school mum she should have run the same amount but let's just check d is equal to velocity times time so 14 times 0 0.25 a quarter of 14 is three and a half yay two different ways to check it okay and now for the bonus part number d this is going to be over our heads but i like throwing you in to see how fat, how good you can swim i'm going to draw one distance versus time graph. Use one color for the boy and another color for the mom and use this graph to display all the answers you've just calculated in A, B, and C. A was, how far does he get in the first six minutes? One kilometer. B was, how long does she have to run to catch him? 0.25 and then the last one is how far away they are which is 3.5 kilometers okay so I've already done a little bit of a jot here of a quick sketch graph here we go the time is along the base here of 0 to 0 0.35 hours and the vertical here, the y component, is the distance from home from 0 to 1, 2, 3, and 3.5. I know some of the answers already, so I knew what scale to do. So let's just draw what the boil is. After starting at home, which is right here, at time 0, after 6 seconds, which is 0 0.1 of an hour, he is 1 kilometer away. So that is the boy his location and what does his, this graph look like on a distance time graph it is an S straight arrow and it's kind of like that okay and we'll do pen option let's do boy so that's him going from zero, and this is six minutes. So that means this is 12 minutes. And this is 18 minutes. And this will be 21 minutes. Okay. So this is him running. He's running at a constant speed, so this is why it's a straight diagonal line. Not a curved one, it's not slowing down, I mean, it's not doing this. Okay, now the mum. The mum leaves at the six minute mark. Waits for six minutes and then notices lunch and then takes on off. And she, her arrow for representing her distance time, be something like this. Let's just boom, something like that. But let's just change the color. Mum will be fuchsia. So that's the mum. 
Okay. Why does do I know that it starts there? Well, she's still at home at a time of six minutes, but when she does catch him, she is 3.5 kilometers away. So, it's, oops, this is probably the area where they should have bumped in. So let's just redraw that. And I guess they didn't have to run any further after once they met. Well, the boy continued on. But let's just... Thanks, Mom. There you go. Okay. So how long did the mom have to run? From 6 minutes to 21 minutes, which is 15 minutes. Started at 6 minute mark and caught him at the 21 minute mark. 0.35 hours. Okay, so she ran for 15 minutes. And then they met at 3.5 kilometers. So they were here. So I guess if we want to, mom was here for this whole time. And then off. So she was at home and then off. Okay, and so this is good. This is good. Okay, extra thought there, now that we're a couple, 11 minutes into this video here. What does a vertical line between these two represent? So let's say at 12 minute mark, we'll go and we'll take a black line here. And what does that represent? Think about it. It represents how far away mom is from the boy. The boy will be about, what's that, 1.9 kilometers from home, and mom will be about 1.3 kilometers from home. So this is about approximately 0.6 kilometers. So when she starts, one kilometer away, 0.6, and gets closer and closer and closer. You know, by this time, actually, she'll just call out, hey, you son, son, stop. Here's your food. But we've drawn it that they continue racing and running until they catch each other. Excellent. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a good question. And that was the... Uh, Question number six.